Artificial intelligence has rendered the phrase, I'll believe it when I see it, completely obsolete. Deep fakes of videos, imagery, audio, voice cloning, God knows what else is starting to be indiscernible from real life. And the people who took notice of this first are scammers. There are so many scams that are integrated into AI and they're prevalent throughout. They're especially going after the elderly population. There's been a lot of stories in the news of moms getting calls saying that their daughters are about to be harmed or they've been kidnapped or worse. And I will share some of those videos later on in the video. The emails that we used to all get, the ones that had terrible grammar mistakes contacting us from like the Nigerian prince that we won the lottery, those are a relic of the past. Now, people are using serious deep fakes of family members and convincing people, those that aren't that gullible, that something in fact insane is happening and people are wiring money to these scammers. Indian scam call centers is going to be a thing of the past because right now, as long as you have a lot of CPU power and can really plug in and know how to use these AI tools, you can go ahead and all automate the process. Think about it. You can FaceTime with your victim and you can really build rapport and then squeeze them for as much money as you can. It is scary stuff right now. There's been deep fakes when it even comes to porn. There's been pornographic scams where someone takes the image, creates a fake nude of them and then blackmails them. Says, I'm going to send this to your kids. I'm going to send this to your job and I'm going to post it all over the internet unless you wire me some money. It's insane. There's been sillier stories of like people on Reddit paying for some fake girls, pornographic images, even though it's just an AI and it keeps just generating these fake nude images, which I think is hilarious. No one really gets hurt there. These people would have been spending money anyways. But the people that are hurt, we're talking about grandparents. We're talking about people over the age of 60 that go ahead and plow a bunch of money into these scams, sometimes investment scams. And before it was kind of obvious to tell because you get someone on the phone and they'd have a thick accent and they would just do a terrible job trying to sell it. But now AI can make it as believable as if it were real life. Me and you would have a tough time distinguishing between what is real and what is fake. And I know that what's happening right now is the government is keeping track of all this. They're taking note because the government is getting ready to regulate the bejesus out of AI. They can't wait. The government loves to take control. And unfortunately, these scammers are going to be something that the government is going to leverage in order to prove why there needs to be really strict laws in place. And I believe that the innovation of AI in the US, which right now America is the leader. Think about it. Google, Apple, OpenAI, these are all American companies. They're at the forefront of artificial intelligence. But I believe that America will put a lot of laws in place where other places like Asia and Europe won't have them and we're going to fall behind. But I digress. Let me show you some of the crazy news stories that are happening right now. And before I even do that, please, if you have an elderly person in your family, educate them about the fact that they might be getting fake calls, fake video calls, fake audio, trying to convince them to send money somewhere or convincing them that a crazy emergency is happening like a kidnapping or someone's about to get raped or someone is about to get harmed if they don't send a certain amount of money to a certain place. Please be aware of these scams. Now let's take a look at a couple of them that are occurring right now. Unfortunately, I hate that it's happening because I'm knee deep in AI. I am loving the space. I am consulting a lot of businesses in it. I'm doing AI workshops and a lot of gifted school programs, libraries, etc. I am neck deep in it and I am not stopping, but I feel like with anything, when there's a new technology, 
technology, there's going to be a bunch of sinister people that take advantage of that and try to do evil things, try to profit from it at any cost. It's just like with the war of Russia versus Ukraine, where you saw people just in vans stealing people from Ukraine, telling them that they're going to drive them to Poland and they end up in sex slavery. It's horrific stuff. Some people just have this thing in them that's just pure evil. It does exist in the world. And I guarantee you, they have their paws all over artificial intelligence and they are going to use it to its maximum potential to scam people, to rob, to steal, to ruin people's lives. So be on the lookout. Let's dive into some current news stories happening just this past couple of weeks. So here's a terrifying example of a mom getting scammed by AI that is telling her that her daughter is kidnapped and something horrific is going to happen to her. I pick up the phone and I hear my daughter's voice and it says, Mom, and she's sobbing. And I was like, what happened? And she's like, Mom, I, I, I messed up. And she's sobbing and crying. And then I hear a man's voice say, put your head back, lie down. And then I'm like, wait, what, what's going on? And this man gets on the phone and he's like, listen here, I've got your daughter. This is how it's gonna go down. You call the police, you call anybody. I'm gonna pop her stomach so full of drugs, I'm gonna have my way with her and I'll drop her off in Mexico. And at that moment, I just start shaking. I'm like, what? And in the background, she's going, help me, mom, please help me, help me, and falling. And you have absolutely no doubt in your mind that that was her voice. Oh, 100% her voice, 100% her voice. It was never a question of, you know, who is this? Or it was completely her voice. It was her inflection. It was the way she would have cried. I never doubted for one second it was her. That's the freaky part that really got me to my core. But the 15 year old never said any of it. It was just a clone created by artificial intelligence. And here's another disturbing example of how scam artists are using artificial intelligence to go ahead and freak people out and profit off of it. So here the FBI warns about deep fake porn scams. The FBI said it has received a growing number of complaints of criminals who use deep fake tools to create fake pornographic videos of people and then demand payment from them. Scammers are using artificial intelligence to create fake porn videos of victims and demanding money from them to not disseminate them, the FBI warned Monday. Deepfake technology, which can create convincing artificial media, like videos of one's person's face on another's body, has rapidly advanced and become widespread in recent years. In a public service announcement, the FBI said it had received increasing complaints of criminals who use deepfake tools to create fake pornographic videos by using images and clips commonly found on victims' social media accounts. The scammers sometimes circulate them on social media, public forums, or pornographic websites, the agency said. Criminals will often insist that victims, some of them children, pay them in money, gift cards, or even authentic sexual imagery, the FBI said, and will threaten to publish the deepfakes on the open internet or send them to friends and family if they refuse. Now, some of you might be saying, yeah, but this has been going on forever. I mean, people use Photoshop to go ahead and create fakes of people for many, many years now. However, with AI, you can do it in seconds flat and you don't need to be specialized. You don't need to be someone that can really create something that looks actually authentic in Photoshop. Believe it or not, it takes a while to take someone's head and then adjust it to a person's body and make it seem like it's actually legit with all the shadows and everything else without it looking like it's just a copy and paste Microsoft PowerPoint type job. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Is this just the regular way of technological advancement or is this really a huge issue? The government should get involved, regulation should take place, let me know what you guys think and if you know of anyone or another scam that I haven't mentioned go ahead mention in the comment section and also before you guys freak out and are like oh my god he said one million dollar AI scam and there was no scam that he covered that's a million dollars I want to show you guys this this is an article by Yahoo Finance titled AI is making financial scams harder to detect. And right here it says, recently online scams have shot up. The FTC data released in February shows that consumers lost roughly $8.8 .8 billion due to fraud in 2022. That's a 20% increase over the past 
year. Now, I guarantee you, when you're going to look at the 2023 statistics, this is not going to be 19 or 20 percent. I believe it's going to be 60 or 70 percent. I think that these AI scams are going to let scammers be so much more efficient and ruthless in their approach. Watch what happens. And as soon as those stats come out around the same time next year, you're going to see government put the hammer down. Mark my words. I'm going to try to stay on top of all the latest and greatest that's happening in AI and not just the latest and greatest, but sometimes the latest, greatest and worst that's happening in AI. And I will go ahead and make videos about it. So if you appreciate artificial intelligence content, go ahead, give this channel a subscription and let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe, guys, and keep an eye on your mental health. Thank <laughs> you.